priorities. Jamal Ludin wants to serve the country that took him in. He's from Afghanistan and escaped aboard an American military plane after Kabul fell to the Taliban. Eventually, he came to Canada, where he's now a permanent resident. I want to be a part of this society because they, they, they helped me in my very bad situations. The military has made no secret it's desperate for new recruits. Given the significant number of demands around the world, and there's just not enough Canadian forces to be able to do everything. Sign in the box. And, and so in 2022, the military opened its doors to permanent residents to help fill thousands of vacant jobs. But CBC News has learned while more than 21,000 permanent residents apply to join the regular forces, within a year, only 77 were accepted. I frankly think it's not good enough, and it's, and it's a potentially an opportunity lost. The process takes time. The commander overseeing recruitment says permanent residents often require an extra level of security screening. Certainly it's frustrating and, you know, and, and, and we feel those frustrations. We have to be a combat capable force and so standards matter and, and when we're, you know, when you're dealing with sensitive military equipment in a national security environment, um, those factors are really important. The military says it can take up to two years to process permanent residents, but just three months for Canadian citizens. It makes that check, sort of background check, much easier than somebody that comes in with uh, 20 years in a different country. Faced with those long delays, 15,000 permanent residents have walked away. Uh, Ludin is hanging on. For now, doing odd jobs to support his sisters here in Canada thinking of his mother and brother who died in Afghanistan and how he wants to make them proud. My family always want to see me in my uniform. The defense minister has asked the department to look at allowing permanent residents to serve on a probationary basis while they wait for their security checks to be completed. The department says the military is considering it. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.